Hi everyone, this is Alexandra Lech. Let's talk about the new moon in Cancer that happens every year around this time when the sun is in Cancer. Uh, so uh, we can expect very Cancer-oriented energies coming up to surface, but let's focus on the symbolism of new moon first of all. This is the time of the month when moon and sun meet at the same um, degree of the zodiac obviously technically they don't meet these two planets don't meet but they both sail through certain part of the zodiac um, so every new moon happens around every 29 days just like every full moon does as well with the two weeks intervals so this time when Sun and Moon meet in 14 degrees of cancer and uh, it's a beautiful time to set new intentions start new projects it's always time the new moon time to plant the new seeds to uh, kick off with some new ideas new projects new intentions beautiful for um, even coming up with ideas and writing things down and setting these new intentions or plans objectives that we want to achieve in the future uh, but um, on the 5th of July when both luminaries Sun and Moon are meeting in 14 degrees of Cancer let's have a look what feel you know what touch what touch w this new moon can have for us so on a more general level it will be very much cancer oriented cancer you know both luminaries and cancer so it's very protective nurturing loving caring energy it's about parenting parenting ourselves um, but also parenting our other people taking care nurturing other people um, it's anything to do with building home family uh, family warmth, sense of belonging. It's needing retreat, needing to escape as well. Um, it's about wanting to hide from the world and it's about like nurturing our very private side. Um, also, cancer represents, you know, uh, physically buildings, so home, building, real estate. These areas may pop up in our lives um, around this time, around 5th of July but also on a more individual level it's very uh, important where 14 degrees of cancer for it fall in your chart because these nurturing caring protective or home oriented energies may fall in your first house which will be very much about how uh, you present yourself to the external world and how you perceive the world or it may fall in your sixth house, which which is the house of routine and responsibilities and work, which may mean that you will be you will have added some responsibility around a home, family, the building itself, real estate, or um, caring for others within your family. So it's very individual, but on the more general level, it's very Cancerian new moon. How is it aspected? What is very important, obviously, the main aspect that I um, that I paid attention to is the trine from Saturn. So both these luminaries, Sun and Moon, 14 degrees in the middle of Cancer, they are being beautifully supported by Saturn, uh, by trine. Saturn is actually stationing um, direct, sorry, stationing retrograde on the 29th of June. So it is in relation to the Earth, it's already slowing down and then on the 29th of June um, it, it is uh, stationing retrograde and then it will start moving in the retrograde motion. When the planet is stationed um, it is at its closest position to the Earth which means that um, its influence on us is the strongest. So 19 degrees of Pisces if you have anything impor important in this point you will feel the responsible slow moving perseverant influence of Saturn but because the Saturn in this configuration is also supporting by trine so trining these two luminaries during the new moon uh, all these energies of setting new intentions starting new projects and protective um, nurturing vibration is going to be strongly supported by e everything that Saturn has to offer which is stability strength perseverance hard work very sharp focus it's about stability you know it's going to bring um, security and stability it's about giving and receiving a vibe of uh, support strength stability uh, building something sustainable for the future so I'll say generally speaking this new moon wherever 14 degrees of cancer fall in your chart um, it may be manifested in our lives um, in a sense of starting these new um, initiatives projects around family theme 
or at least building um, home real estate theme as well so but as I said individually check where it falls in your chart but I think it's a really beautiful new moon we will need this sense of stability and nurturing and protective vibe especially that a week later after this new moon we have the explosive um, conjunction between Mars and Uranus <laughs> a very electric conjunction that I'll try to make um, the next week's video next week's video on um, but in the meantime let's enjoy the beautiful um, stable calming effects of this new moon in cancer on the 5th of July all the best <laughs>